Hello everyone and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. I am Cause and it has been a fantastic week seven. We're gonna get into it. Well let's take a look at this first. Might as well just press all of them. There's no reason to not press all of them. It's just gonna make it harder for us to survive. Uh, worst case, I was about to say, worst case, me and Cozy can finish him up here. Yes. Hey, you got me. Oh my god! Close got it. Close got it. Cozy and Sky, okay. Best raid ever. And as you saw, it finally happened seven weeks into season four, and I started my journey for the Lego at near the end of season three probably about four weeks before that and i've been talking about it each week i've been doing the the runs so i ran a heroic amir drasil i didn't get the axe so i was kind of bummed out i'm like well all right no worries like we'll see what kind of what happens um and the guild decided that we're going to be doing uh a free rack kill for mounts so I, I asked if I could bring the DK as it's a little more optimal for the fight and he was geared enough. They agreed. We brought the DK in. As you saw, we got the kill and I got my legendary and I was stoked. The noise gating unfortunately blocked it out, but I screamed, oh my God, I finally got it. And not only that, because I was so excited, I didn't loot the boss right away. So I waited a bit and I waited a bit and then finally I looted the boss and realized that I not only got the legendary, I also was one of the few people to get the mount from Mythic Farak as well. So I was very excited. I think that was a fantastic way. And the raid week last week, uh, the DK got his Lego, the DK got the mount. So that was the most exciting thing that happened last week. What else did I do a little bit of last week? Obviously I continued to play Mop Remix. I keep doing the dailies. I do the world bosses. I kind of AFK by them, wait for them to spawn. And then I go kill the boss. And then every day I'll run through my dailies, right? So that is still the thing we're doing in Mop. My DK, Feels really good. Last week, the DK ended off just under 400 item level. This week, we are at 405.13, and I haven't done my upgrades. I have about 24,000 bronze that I need to use, uh, so we're going to be doing some upgrades on the DK uh, to start the week off. But he's feeling really good. We're looking at his cloak. It has got some significant upgrades. We're looking at 4,400 strength, 2,800 stamina. 5,700 crit, 5,800 haste, 2k leech, 5,500 mastery, 2,100 speed, 7,800 verse, and 423 experience gain. So DK is feeling really good in keys. I plan on jumping into heroics with him. I've just been doing the normal raids, uh, but I think at this point he is geared enough where he can jump into heroic and successfully run through it. So I'm going to try to do that this week for most of the raids and see how they feel. Ultimate goal is hitting max level and then running Mythic Siege of Orgmore and getting the Feet of Strength achievement. Outside of the DK, we also played the Paladin. There's a lot of time spent on him. Just quickly on the Paladin, we're going to go through buying some of these mogs. He has about 86,000 bronze we want to use. So we're going to start uh, Mage, Priest, and Warlocks. Another one of the sets right here. This is another one as well. We're going to use that. Going to go through most of the cloth ones probably to start. I believe I have most of this one. There's only a couple I don't have, but I'm going to buy it anyway. We have the Demon Hunters, Druids, Monks, and Rogue. Another Demon Hunters, Druids, Monks, and Rogues one. This, I think I have most of this one already. Ooh, another Monk one. This one actually looks good with the wings, the way the Paladin's set up right now. I kind of like it. Another leather set right here. And then we are moving on to Mail. Go through the whale. This is the one that has the lizard head. I kind of like this one. This is the Fireland set. I think I have this set for Shammies. Should we oh, yeah, already know that? We're only missing one piece for that, so I'm not gonna buy it. We already know it. Go to Thunder Set, Mage Prince and Priests, Mage Priests and Warlocks. They always seem to get the best sets, eh? Yeah, so as you see, we just picked up a ton of transmogs. We're basically almost done with the Heroic and the Mythic set. We're gonna finish that off most likely this week as we continue to do what the dailies. I'll we'll have to go back and do those before the end of the day today. So two mounts this week, just quickly, uh, we did get the bird, as I discussed earlier, we got the Mythic Farak mount, which I think this is an absolutely stunning looking mount. It flies really cool in with uh, dragon riding, and I think it just looks fantastic. And then the other mount we got is Sharkbait from Freehold. This one took us a little bit of a little bit of farming for since bfa i've been farming this mount not consistently but over the last few weeks it's been pretty consistent i finally got it out of freehold so i'm excited for that that only leaves under rot and king's rest in bfa and i finished the dungeon 
uh, mounts there. I already have the Jaina mount, but I do still need to go back for Gmod, so that may be something I start farming next. And let's tech talk about something that I've been doing for weeks. We finally did it. We finally got a legendary from Firak. I spent the entire weekend after I got it on Thursday farming out all of the quests to get it completed. So we had to farm out uh, the Super Bloom and collect 200 Shadowed Dream Leaves. You usually get about 3 to 7 per Super Bloom. But you can also actually like tether yourself like there's a item you get where you can it's like an enhanced dream leaf and if you if someone applies it to you it increases the amount of the shadowed dream leaves you get from a super bloom uh, so what i was doing is just i was making a group and farming making a group and inviting anyone who wanted to do super bloom there's usually a lot of paladins warriors and dks and then we would find someone we could tether to and then that would give us an additional uh, few shadow dream leaf that took forever I, I i hope to never see a super bloom again there was so many that i had to do and every hour i was on the dot i was there i was making the group and i was getting in there and doing super blame so i didn't miss one i was able to get all that done by saturday sunday morning and i started friday night uh, obviously i didn't go all night but most of the Saturday, um, once I got home in the evening, I was doing it, and then most of Sunday until I was done. The other objective is to do 50 taut uh, tether coil, and the only way to get those is to actually bind yourself, like uh, attach yourself to one of the rares, and then kill it with that attached. You get about two, one to three per kill. You need 50. So what I was doing, I was doing the frenzied, there's a frenzied lasher event that you can do, and then that, you kill enough ads and it'll spawn a lasher, the surging lasher, you tether to that, you kill it, um, and as people show up to the event, it'll respawn the ad multiple times, so there's sometimes I can get two or three kills. So yeah, we did that, and then the final step was to get the uh, enchanting items, and I had a ton of saved enchanting items. Uh, disenchanting items in the bank for that exact scenario so i actually saved all of those and i was able to quickly just go through that uh, one of the other things is going through and actually like using these items like the after you get it all enchanted you have to test the enchanted vellum and test the grip and it's kind of funny because it's sitting there like when you use it all these flames come out so i was doing that in different places around the world it was kind of kind of neat right and it's a five minute cooldown so that kind of took some time i just sat there you know and then throughout the day clicked the button got it done and then the final thing is the grip now if you're doing the grip i didn't realize that if you actually read the quest it says right in the quest that you can have him create an item that lets you hold the grip for at least three charges so that's about 30 percent of the quest completion i didn't read that part i just kind of started using it and the first time i used it i died and i didn't understand what was happening until i read the quest again and so what i did is actually when i was ready i kept uh i used it a few times i almost died i died and then i finally asked a friend of mine who's a healer and we ran into an instance and then i just sat there kind of using it over and over and over again and he sat there healing me right so it was really cool to to see that portion of the quest it was very grindy but it was totally worth it right once all that's done you run into the scenario and then you kill an echo of Farak. The fight was actually kind of neat. I almost died at one point. I purgatoried and panicked. But yeah, I did get through it. I finally got the axe. I am so glad I'm I can finally play my DK and, and maybe have a competitive parse in raid. Because right now without it, you're really you're down there, right? So I'm very happy with that. That was the biggest thing that happened last week. And since we're already talking about the DK, let's just jump into the DK portion of the video and let's take a look at how he did last week and open his vault. The Obviously, the biggest thing is the axe. So we do have the 535 axe. That is the main change and upgrade that I got all week and I used everything I could to upgrade it to 535. So I do need to run a lot of keys to get that upgraded. We ended up running just his typical 8s. Oh, that's a lie. We... So we did, we weren't planning on doing any push keys last week, but we were asked to help someone with a 10 Uldemon and I needed the portal anyway, and I wanted to try the DK out and see how he did, right? To be able to really use Feralath on big mob pulls, and uh, Uldemon was actually a good choice for that. There's a few pulls in there at the beginning of the dungeon and later on in the dungeon where you, you, do, you pull fairly large. So I was able to use it, but yes, yeah, so we did a 10 Uldemon that got us 11 points, so we did go up to 25.55. Nothing major, but it is a, an increase. And that's the other thing. It's kind of cool with Feralath because uh, during the ultimate at the end, at the very last boss, uh, the animation that it does is it swings really quickly and this shadow flame bursts out of it. Now, I wish there was a better better audio cue for it. But in the last boss of Ultimate, we kind of went and did this and it just, 
We did it during Rewind with Lust, and it was kind of funny watching this big torn wave this axe around and watching it explode. It's it, right as you can see in the background. It just looked really funny, but I wish I had a better audio cue and it sounded louder and more powerful for a legendary axe, right? Because the the audio behind it feels very weak. But overall, I mean, it's a fantastic weapon to have and increases the damage so much, right? So let's wheel it in and see what other potential upgrades we can get out of the DK's vault this week. Boom! Okay, it was open in on Holy Spec. We ended up getting 522 Wastes, Mythic Track Waste Piece, which I still need to craft my belt, which will give me well fed. And then we also have a Mythic Track Chest Piece. So nothing really major. So I think for now, because we're going to be doing lots of keys on the DK anyway, until I can craft, I'm just going to take the, the belt, the Waste, because it is an upgrade and it's Mythic Track. So we're just going to take that. We're going to socket it because really I've, there's no reason to take sockets right now on the DK. And yeah, definitely this week I have asked the guild if I can bring the DK to our main raid. So I'm kind of excited for that to see how he does and see what the numbers look like. And that should also help me get some crests to be able to upgrade his gear to a higher item level. I definitely kind of think it's funny. The transmog I'm using was the only mog, in my opinion, that fit with Feralath right now. So that's kind of what I'm using with him. But yeah, I do definitely want to push at least a few keys on the DK to upgrade his gear. I want to see him get up to 525 item level, and he's not far from that. And I'm hoping with the main raid and the keys I do, we can accomplish that. All right, and next up we have the Monk. There is not much to talk about him. I did not run any keys on him because I was so focused on getting my Lego. So we just have our Mythic Vault slots to open. Our Mythic Raid Vault slots that we have in the Great Vault. So we're just, we're going to open it in Windwalker and see what we get. The Monk definitely didn't get a lot of love last week, but that's okay. It's a new week and I have a new toy. All right, taking a look at what we have. We have the 525 Sith of Fallen Keeper. Which I love how this Sith actually looks. So for a transmog collection perspective, I would definitely take this. We have the Anvil, which it would be fun to play with, but I have my best in slot trinkets for tanking. And then we also have the Haste Mastery Ring. Haste is absolutely useless for us. So I still have one of the socket tokens in my bag from last week when we collected the socket option. So because I like my transmog and I don't have this one yet, I am going to take the Sith just from the transmog's perspective. And that wraps up week seven's recap. Overall, I think it has been a great week. There's been so much beta news that we need to go over and take a look at. We're going to do some beta testing this week for sure. Thursday and Friday, they have the raid, the heroic raid uh, beta testing happening so i do plan on spending some time tomorrow to convert my monk what monk dk prot paladin and most likely warrior and have them at least ready i'm going to do raid testing on the dk for sure because i want to see how they feel with the new talent trees and changes and then potentially the monk or paladin that's the other one i'd like to do so thursday will definitely be dk and then friday maybe we'll do paladin and then outside of beta, we're going to continue to play mop the way we have been. I am really hoping to get some good eye levels on my, my DK and finish off my mob collection. And then after beta, we're going to continue doing more things in mop remix. We're going to keep farming out the mogs on the paladin. And then we're going to keep gearing the eye levels on the DK to see how strong he gets. And then lastly, we are definitely going to be doing more uh, underrot and King's Rest farming for mounts. So that is the plan for this week. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. I hope your vaults were plentiful. I hope you're enjoying the game and all the changes that are happening. I think it's in a very good and healthy spot. I'm looking forward to continuing my World of Warcraft adventure. We're going to try some beta. We're going to get some more videos for you guys. And I might do walkthroughs of how the tanks feel on each boss and some of the boss mechanics. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, hit that like and subscri subscribe button. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.